second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. I make my own offerings off, like. I'm like a brown one. Well done. Hey y'all, welcome back to a new vlog. Lala Tatiana here and we're starting this week off right now. I've been in the house all day. We got back from New York yesterday. I didn't film a lot because I'm really feeling it. One, I'm sick. I got sick while out there. I got sick. I woke up feeling sick the second day. It was the second day? Was it the third day? I don't remember. No, the second day I had a headache the whole time. So I had a huge headache. And then the next day I woke up with a sore throat. And my headache was still going on. I've been taking NyQuil. I just finished taking my vitamins. I've been taking vitamin C. Which I try to take on a daily basis anyway. But the other thing, I haven't been taking my vitamins like that either. I'm going to cook. But I need to figure out what I'm going to cook. Today is Monday. The Monday before Thanksgiving. I'm going to try to wake up in the morning and go. The third, the Tuesday, we're not kidding. Oh, oh my god, we got our um invitations in the mail, passport, and we yeah, have just like little passport. There's a, a QR code in the back on here. Why oh, it's so bright in here? The QR code, of course, it doesn't work. I had a problem with the QR code while she was making them. She emailed me and I sent another one. This one doesn't work now. Those QR codes expire after like two days, and then it, they want you to pay for a membership. I just didn't feel like doing that. Mm, I have to find stamps, I need a million dollars, so it cost more. But anyways, tomorrow I'm going to I'm gonna go to Michael's or like Joanne's Fabric or something. So I'm find the cute little sticker to put on them. A wedding theme sticker. That's how it goes. I don't know. Something I can cover it up. Like if I just cover that up, like it looks fine. Just an RSVP on the back. Like a boarding pass. Quick little change of plans. So my boyfriend came back from working. So we're gonna go to the store. We're gonna go to the grocery store late at night for Thanksgiving. Hopefully it won't be very packed is what we're hoping. So I'm gonna make my grocery list right now. I haven't done anything since I last talked to y'all, besides my boyfriend came home. I forgot done eating that bag of chips. I opened up uh, some videos where like, these are so cheaply made, they're just not good quality, da da da. And I was nervous. I was nervous. I was thinking like, these aren't gonna be good, but everyone's hyping them up and they're just so pretty. Let me just get them for the aesthetic vibes. Even if I don't use them, but y'all. This, these rhinestones are on here good. Like, even on this, okay? These brushes are soft. I'm pretty sure they're, of course, all synthetic hairs. If you know, then synthetic isn't good for, I think, with the powder products. But if you know how to do your makeup, you can. You know how to do anything. And I feel like you know how to use anything to make something happen. And I feel like I can make anything happen with these. Because these are gorgeous. They don't all fit in this cup. So I wish it came with two cups or a bigger one. So I just have, like, this little acrylic thing right here. This little acrylic organizer that I'm going to sit. So I'm going to put both of these on my vanity and I'm going to have them out as like display items. I don't know if I'm going to use them like that, but yeah. And I actually don't have an eyelash curler. I used to have one, but I got rid of it. It was just like so old, but this one I love and it's like a spring effect. So you just like hold it down and it like springs right up. They feel heavy. Like they don't feel like light flimsy brushes and they're just so many different ones. And these of course are gorgeous and I'm Finally, um, got a sewing in after wearing braids for so long. So I've actually been using these ones that I bought from Amazon a lot lately when I do my makeup. And they're amazing. So to have some that look like this, so pretty. And then, of course, like viral, get ready with me headband. I love that. So it's my first time trying this too. And it says handmade. I wonder if it's really handmade. Like, did somebody really think? I probably did. Somebody in a damn sweatshop somewhere. Oh, that's so sad. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. I'm supposed to be making my Thanksgiving... I'm going to say Thanksgiving Christmas list. Grocery list. You want to do it on my iPad? I really actually don't. I'm going to do it on my phone. Let's get to doing this. And I'm going to finish watching YouTube videos while I do this. If I told you that a flower bloomed in the dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write poems in these songs dedicated to you when join the... Yeah, I didn't make it to the store last night. I don't know what I was talking about. Uh, my boyfriend suggested it, but let's be real. It was like 10 o'clock by the time we got done eating. It's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. What I'm going to find at the store, I don't know. I'm also going to stop at Michael's to get some um, stickers or try to find some stickers for my invitation. Try to get that out the way. But yeah, it's like almost 9 o'clock right now. 9 in the morning. I wanted to go right when the store opened, but clearly that didn't happen. I got my ring on. I have not been wearing I've been forgetting to put my ring on. I'm trying to find a decent coat to wear too. But yeah, I'm about to hurry up. So I'm trying to get in there and get out. 
I didn't even show y'all nothing I got from the store. I didn't even show y'all all that store. I was just on a mission. I was on a mission. But right now, I'm about to go ahead back out. I'm about to go to Michael's for these. I actually need to take this with me. Oh, yeah, I need to go to post office. I don't have enough stamps for my invites. Second store of the day. Let's go. I'll find something to cover this up. Side of Mar Michael's was like Marshall. Oh, it's so cute. And literally, like, probably before the pandemic. This used to be my jam. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, goodness. What if I just do these? But they're gonna be blank circles. Like, I'm not gonna put anything in them. I don't have the energy or the time. I don't know. These are like $6, so not too bad. I don't know. It definitely looks like it would fit, but I just feel like it'd be like, okay, why is there a circle in here? I think they used to have way more stickers here. People not playing with stickers anymore? Oh, wow, look at this. I wish I was a cricket girl. Now this actually kind of works. recording that much i lost my voice one thing i need to do i need to go to the post office because i need to mail out my wedding invitations i don't know why i just drew a blank i actually have a few more that i need to fill out because people gave me their addresses a little bit late and i forgot to get some of them so i'm gonna go try it right now to come up to my printer see if i can print out something kind of professional looking on these professional looking envelopes if not i'm gonna have to write them and they're just not to get them like that i'm wearing no it's, yeah it's my room my room's always my skim sweat outfit that i love it's just so soft and comfortable i did do some black friday shopping i swear i wasn't i don't remember if i did any black friday shopping last year i'm actually probably gonna check no i deleted all my old emails but this year i was like no i'm not gonna buy anything i knew i wasn't going out because the deals don't even be dealing like that no more it's almost it's five o'clock so i need to hurry up and go get these done for the post i think post office closes at seven around here oh and i'm still cleaning up the kitchen for thanksgiving like i'm about to start my third load of dishes in the dishwasher i'm not washing that shit by hand like i don't have the energy to do that since i didn't have to go to the restaurant i updated my wedding website so i forgot to do that send out my invitations but didn't update the website so i updated that i completely edited a youtube video that i've been editing for three weeks from footage back in july <laughs> and then i also posted a tiktok and i posted a youtube short and i posted on instagram your girl's been posting girls trying to get back into the algorithms good graces They're trying to get i don't know if i've ever been in them but i'm trying to get in I kind of want to get some more Thanksgiving food. Tomorrow's the last day I'm eating that. Tomorrow's Sunday. Like, I can't eat it no more. I have a ton, a ton, a ton left. That's all I've been doing today. I'm literally still in my robe yet. Oh, and I want to clean my room. I think I'm going to do that after I edit this TikTok. I keep saying I'm going to edit this TikTok. I'm going to clean up in here. I was flat ironing my hair, trying to get ready for work. And then it's someone else coming. So I've been having this robe on ever since. I I didn't even put on any clothes today. Like, I got out of the shower and put on a robe. <laughs> I 
can't decide Fashion week was more your thing than mine I can't even lie I'd rather stay inside I can't do suit and tie Can't be in one room with you And stand on different sides One thing at a time I have to learn to hide One thing at a time Emotions running high I wish you felt alright Just hitting my line to play with this thing a little bit more because I really don't know exactly what I'm doing brightness isn't it brighter than this oh it does oh, why not just turn it all the way up yeah so I'm gonna be playing with this thing for the next hour <laughs> it's the echo show 10 I think yeah this one all these boxes from stuff that I've been buying, but and it was on sale for one sixty. I think they're regularly like two fifty. So yeah, let me figure this thing out, and then I'm gonna go finish cleaning up. start looking more presentable on my vlogs because I just be looking any type of way. But this is real life and I'm not trying to be nothing that I'm not so this is how I look 99% of the time. Said 
just gon' be the last Sometimes I wanna beat your ass You know I won't do that a little bit of my morning routine i was taking it real slow okay i didn't even go work out today i just kind of had a slow morning i went to bed i stayed up so late last night and i don't know why because i actually was kind of tired and i went to bed really early the night before and i slept in i slept for like how long did i sleep so i went to bed i slept for almost like 12 hours the night before i want to start waking up early i'm so sick of waking up at like around nine like i don't like doing that like that to me is too late like i should be up around like seven 30 i feel like eight o'clock at the latest i actually did go grab that chai latte I, yeah but this actually turned out really good like i don't know i can't remember if i've ever used that chai latte before i know i think i've used it like once or twice and it did not come out good but mm. well, this came out so good i put a splash like not even a cap full like probably half a cap full of um some of that glazed donut syrup that i have in here because i forgot to do it when i made it i don't even know if that made a difference or not because this tastes so good the last of my laundry is in the dryer right now i'm not gonna worry about folding this right now it's a big pile i think i showed y'all my camera's all crazy i think i showed um the christmas tree i haven't decorated or, or nothing yet but i'm kind of liking the like bare vibe i'm kind of liking it like not decorated like because she would like to one like it just looks really pretty so i'm like i don't even know if i want to put the ornaments on it i'm gonna cook dinner later i haven't cooked since thanksgiving I have, no, we stopped eating like Thanksgiving food Sunday. Like, please do not be dragging that Thanksgiving food out for a week. Like, y'all are nasty doing that. I'm sorry. So, I gotta go to the grocery store today. So, I'm gonna uh, make some, like, Alfredo. And I don't feel like making all damn sauce. So, I'm probably gonna make some jarred Alfredo. I don't know. It doesn't bother me. I know some people, it's so weird because people have, like, such a hierarchy towards, like, Alfredo sauce. Like, oh, I, I only make my own Alfredo sauce. I only make my own Alfredo sauce. Like, okay like it's, hard, it's not that hard to make but that kind of is like the same thing like it's not that hard to make so just make it yourself but it's not that hard to make why are you bragging about making it like it's really not that hard to make to me the dif the taste difference isn't that like extreme like i don't know why like people have like such a chokehold like homemade alfredo sauce I'm, i don't care like i'm about to try to make the easiest dinner tonight i'm gonna do like a seafood alfredo i have these like what's those called lane ghosto tails whatever from trader joe's that my mom got when she was here she didn't use the whole bag so i got half a bag of that and then some scallops too got some scallops i think i'm just gonna put it all in alfredo i don't know scallop and alfredo is that nasty or should i just pick them on the side i don't know i, I want to do something different i don't know you know what i have low-key been wanting to do i've never made a steak alfredo i don't know i haven't made alfredo in like a long time i probably make alfredo like once a year i've just been like kind of craving pasta like italian food but i don't want any i want like white sauce but i don't know people just act so funny about the damn alfredo sauce like you don't make your own spaghetti sauce and to me i feel like especially i don't know i just like a good quality tomato sauce like i can taste that more than like to me it's a bigger difference than like the alfredo sauce i don't know maybe because i like my mom never really made it homemade either maybe because i wasn't like raised off of it but it, i don't know it just never was no big deal to me like it tastes I mean, she can, but it's just like, it's just not that big of a deal. I don't know. We just never made it a big deal in our house. When he comes home, then we'll go to the store. And then I still have some invitations, wedding invitations that I need to print out. Not print out, because I tried that and that was a fail. Some wedding invitations I need to send out, because there was multiple reasons why I didn't get them. My envelopes all got printed by the person who did my invitations. Like, I didn't do any of those. But there were three people that I did not get their information in time. And I was just kind of like, rush. I'm rushing everything. So I'm gonna have to, I tried to print them out on my own printer. My printer's acting up. And then I was thinking that. I was literally, my printer was acting up though we went to Best Buy to look at Black Friday stuff. Why didn't I look at printers? 
Hmm. My printer is just like very basic, very bland. I mean, how spicy does a printer need to be? I just had it for a while. I think it's just time for a new one. So I should have been looking at printers. I probably could have got like a good one for like $50 or something like that. But anyways, I tried to, and I printed my um save the dates envelopes myself. I, I think they turned out halfway decent. I don't think it was that bad. I don't think I recorded like in messing up because I thought it was going to be a successful event and it was not.
Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, your money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. Ain't you packing out nobody's pants? He a rapper, but don't got a chance. So the curls, you can't really see them in here, but they turn out. Mm. They turn out okay. It, to me, it's giving the same effect as the wrap around rod thing. Maybe play around with them more later. So I'm gonna find something to wear. She a baddie with her baddie friend. They like I tell you, always stay hot. This set is so cute. Lately, I've been into only buying them on sale. They have some cute stuff on sale for Black Friday, but I didn't buy nothing because, you know, I'm trying to not do too much. I spent enough money on Black Friday, but I got to go buy some more. I really want to hit up a outlet. I just wish there was one in my area. Just color. And I really like, like, the bright color sets, but I do want some more. Um, I want, like, a brown one, and I want a white one, too. I forgot what color this is. I wonder if it says it on the not receipt, the tag. I thought it was called, child, I forgot. I think it's called Atomic Purple, though. I'm just gonna go drink my green juice. So I did buy some more green juice yesterday when I went to the store. Get my pre-work, I'll get my water ready, and then we're gonna, pretty much, I think I'm just gonna try to delete some footage off my phone, so I don't think I have a lot of storage left on it, and then we're gonna get ready to go to Psycho Bar. Ugh, I'm like dreading it. Oh, I need to put my watch on. Ooh, do I wanna wear earrings? I should, huh? All right. I probably won't talk to y'all again until we get to Psycho Bar. Yeah, I just want to show y'all this set because it's just so cute. I love Lululemon. If you need to get me anything, give me a Lululemon money. Give me a Lululemon gift card. So we made it. I'm like not looking forward to it. Because I know my butt's going to hurt. These seats hurt my butt. They say you get used to it, but I just cannot bring myself to do it. So this is my second time actually at Psycho Bar. I used to go to this other cycle place a few years back. Like before COVID and everything, like years ago. And that was pretty good, but same thing, like the music trash, music trash. But anyway, let me go in here and figure this stuff out. All showered up back home. Let me face this way. You can see me and my hair sticking up. I just, I don't know, I, I don't care. YouTube, whatever. I just don't be liking the flat iron my hair unless I'm really going somewhere. So y'all just have to deal with the leave on I match it. I don't care. I have this like pajama romper from Victoria's Secret that I love. I've had this for a long time. Um, but I just hate it because one of the buttons is missing. Oh wait, this one's actually not missing. This one is here. Yeah, it just has, it's missing a button right here, so I just freaking hate that. I'm gonna make a chai latte, the same one that I made yesterday, because it came out so good. I have to make it and let it like cool down. I don't even remember what I put in it all last time. If I don't use a whole bottle of water, I just like save them and put them in the cabinet and remember to use them. But yeah, okay, so back to, let's talk about Cycle Bar. So this is my second time going. I had a much better experience than I did last time. The last time I went, the people there were just, or I don't remember it being more than one pe person, more than one people, more than one person, but I do remember, I think it was just one person there. And she was just kind of like, oh, and it's my first time. And you know, the first time you go somewhere, usually they're like, okay, this is how you use the equipment. This is how you do everything, da, da, da. No. No. She was not doing that. I pretty much had to figure out everything on my own and like. Like, I think that's why the seat, I mean, the seat was still very uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong. I think that's why the seat was so uncomfortable. But this time it wasn't as uncomfortable. And I figured out how to, like, exactly put the shoes, like, in the bike. And how to take my feet off. And, like, exactly how to set the bike. I think she, she did help me with, like, a little bit of that. But mostly, no. I don't think she did last time. I don't know. I walked in. They were just like, oh, they're just nice. Whatever. And then, okay, so Nicki Minaj playlist. Which, okay, come on. I already knew, well, they did play Super Bass. I was shocked. I'm like, okay, we're going to Sucker Bar. They're not about to play Itty Bitty Piggy. I'm thinking it's going to be like Super Bass. And I, they did play Starships, I think. So I already kind of expected that. Like, it's not about to be like no real, like, hood Nicki Minaj. Like, come on now. But it was still good. Like, it was still a good playlist. And I thought the class was 45 minutes. It's only 30. I thought the regular class was hour and then the express class was 45 minutes. I don't know why I thought that because an hour of cycling, that's insane 
for me like I couldn't do that either so but it was only 30 minutes so it went by pretty fast and I forget I think I burned like I don't know overall I think my overall calories were like 360 maybe no it could not have been that much it might have been like two maybe it was 260 but I enjoyed it so I'm definitely gonna be going back now I just feel like I know how to do it better than before because last time I was like confused and I was in pain it was early and then they just weren't friendly but I feel like I had a much better experience this time I don't remember exactly how I made this last time I don't remember I'm gonna use this today this is why I wanted to use yesterday but it was frozen this is the back of my fridge so I hope it's okay it smells good still it smells delicious I think I added like a dab of creamer in it last time too, didn't I? The thing about recording stuff is that you can go back and look at it. Like sometimes I'll look at my own content and be like, oh, that's what I did. Sometimes I do. Hopefully this is good with this. I probably just need like a very little bit amount since I'm using that. That's probably it. Oh, are these dirty? I don't know, it's just like, oh yeah, ew, it is. Ew! So I'm gonna put this in the freezer. It doesn't take that long, probably like 15 minutes. And it's not, I mean, it's hot water, but when I mix the milk in and stuff, it's like warm now. It's definitely not like room temperature. I love being in the house. So it's just not a lot that I really do unless I'm shopping, which I'm trying to stop doing. Or what else do I do? Sometimes we go out to eat, but that's not, we don't even go out to eat like that anymore. I feel like we eat a lot at home, which is good. I think that's good. It's just so expensive, but I don't know. Cooking at home is expensive too. Nowadays, like you, you don't even save money cooking at home. Cooking at home almost costs, especially for when it's two people. Like, yeah, you have leftovers, but who wants to eat the same thing every day for a week? Every day for a week? No, no, ma'am. I can do like two days. No, I guess like total three days of the same food. But after that, I just can't do it no more. Like the day you cook, the day after that, and then maybe, maybe one more day. But I don't like no three four or five days leftovers like thanksgiving is the only time i can kind of shut you out because i'm not going to it with that mindset but after thanksgiving weekend is over let's move on after you got thursday you got friday saturday and then sunday you're like oh okay and i really can't do no more than that like i don't people who eat thanksgiving food like a week two weeks that's disgusting i'm sorry that's disgusting 